So the American chestnut tree at one time was a premier lumber and the nuts produced for wild game and also for human consumption. So at one time it was a, a major economic uh, contributor to the Northeast United States and a, a, a majority of all the, of the trees in the forest were the American chestnut. And like uh, uh, other things, when the uh, Chinese chestnut was brought into the United States, it had resistance to the blight, but the, the Native American chestnut didn't. And there were billions of trees that were killed within a very short period of time. And um, I remember my father talking about when he was young that the uh, relatives that lived in the city, they would take their vacation and come out into the country and stay with their relatives for the week or whatever time they had. And they would pick up American chestnuts and take them back and sell them and actually make more money on that than they would in a week's time at their regular job. Uh, and then in the fall of the year, uh, they would have a, a chestnut orchard and they would uh, turn the hogs in and that's how they fattened their hogs was on, on chestnuts uh, because they couldn't afford the corn. And so there was just a lot was lost economically uh, when the chestnut blade hit. This project is an effort to bring back that great tree through the use of uh, Dunstan hybrid American chestnut trees. And our goal is that, that we initiate and spread this project throughout the entire state of West Virginia. So how are we going to accomplish that goal? Well, we're going to accomplish it through the conservation districts in West Virginia and the uh, RCNDs getting involved in distributing these trees in their areas. West Montau RCND was the originator of this project. Last fall we planted three trees in each of the 13 counties in West Montau. And this spring we are we're doing a cost share program and we're going to be allowing the public to get two trees each to a cost share program and we've dedicated 300 trees to that project. And also Upper Ohio Conservation District last fall, in conjunction with Little Canoa RCND, dedicated a thousand dollars and planted several of the Dunson hybrid chestnut trees. That's a good sign that it's expanding around the state, and our goal is to see expand even more through uh, grant opportunities through the RCNDs, the conservation districts, with help through the um, West Virginia Conservation Agency. So there's a lot of opportunities and uh, we're hoping to see it spread throughout the state of West Virginia.